Tonight we are discovering a young woman's world, filled with strength and determination and a memory that changed a man's life. These are their stories. How have you changed today compared to four years ago? Change often greets us when we least expect it, and we usually don't realize it until after the fact. Facing the end of her college career, Kingsley had a lot to say about her own change. Growing up in Milton, Massachusetts, this vivacious, determined young woman led a very active childhood and still continues to lead this active life today. This is her story.
I'm her personal care assistant, but I'd rather just say that she's one of my best friends here at High Point. <laughs> Daily, like if it's say my day to like help Kings, um, you know, I would come in the morning, I'll try to like rise her from the dead, from her bed, um, you know, help her get up, get ready for the day. And throughout the day we might, you know, grab lunch. And obviously those aren't things that I would clock in for, we just get lunch together. Um, but I have been helping her work out, which is really good. Um, just kind of like help get muscles moving and all that stuff. And who doesn't want to work out? So we go work out together. She makes me do squats while she works out. So I get a little bit of a workout. Sometimes she goes a little bit harder than I do. Um, but other than that, yeah, we just want everybody else to do what you do with a friend. You just hang out. I mean, Kings is Kings. She is a character. <laughs> She's a character. Really cool one. No, 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 no. <laughs> If I have to catch you, we both fall over. This isn't going to end well. I will keep you. Okay, <laughs> 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 seriously, can we get Thomas? Yes. There will always be a reason why you meet people. Either you're meant to change their life or they're meant to change yours. Six months into his job at the library, David learned this lesson. This is his story. This story always had such an impact and for different reasons throughout the years, which I find to be, I find to be interesting to have a story that you can go back and reflect on every now and then. Uh, I know most people do, but sometimes, you know, those stories are not as impactful or they are as impactful as time goes by. But this is one of the stories that has stayed with me for years. Um, I hadn't been in High Point but about six months. Um, I'm the director of the library now, but at that time I was what's called a public services librarian. And public services librarians are reference librarian. They help people find things. They do classes. They show people how to use resources. And this was a real quiet afternoon. Uh, so I had a class I had to do and it scared me to death because the class was in chemistry. I finished the handout and I thought it was really good. So when I got done, I had, I had two stacks of papers. And there was about 20 kids in the class. So I had 40 papers. I, I needed to go ahead and collate them and put them together. And I remember I was, I remember I was sitting at the reference desk going, because wow, I'd, I'd worked most of the day on this. And I thought, gosh, you know, I, I, I need to staple these together. And I looked up, and I remember we had a student worker at the desk. And he was very, very quiet. And in, he was reading a book. He was studying. He was taking notes and so forth. So I took the papers and I thought, great, I'll go over and I'll, I'll just ask him if he, if he would be okay to, to staple these together for me. And so I went over to the desk and um, I said, can, can you help me real quick? And, and he looked up and he just nodded his head. And I said, well, I've got, I need to have these stapled together. And I've, I've got a front page here, you know, it's page one and two and then page three and four here. So I'd, I'd like the two put together and then stapled. And uh, he looked at it and, and I set the papers down and I went back to my desk. And a few minutes later, he sets the papers down, and I look over at the papers, and 
I noticed that he's taking the page one and page two and page three and page four, lay them on top of each other and then stapled the whole stack on the corner. And I remember at the time I went, gosh, well, I just didn't explain myself well. Okay. So I, I flipped it over. I took the staple out and finally got them separated. And I separated the two stacks and I took them back to him and I said, you know, you, you misunderstood me. I'm really sorry. Um, I want this page on top of this page collated, one and two and so forth. And then I want it stapled on the corner. And he took the papers. I went back to my desk. And this time it was, it was a little while before he came back. So I thought that was a good sign. He sets the papers down and I stopped what I was doing. I picked it up and I looked at it. And sure enough, he had taken page one and two and three and four, put them on top of each other, and then made a whole stack. And then he had stapled the stack in the corner. So it was all stapled in a big bundle again. And I thought, oh, this isn't worth it. You know, he doesn't want to be doing this, something, yeah. So I took the staple out of it, and then I thought, no, no, he's a student worker. He's working for us. He needs to do this. He needs to complete the task. It's a good thing. So finally, I went back over to him with the stack in hand, and I said, I'm really sorry. I've explained myself so poorly here. I said, what I want is I want page one and two and three and four right on top of each other, collated. And then I'd like them stapled on the corners. And I set, this, I set the stack back in front of him again. I thought, well, this is fine. So I went back to my desk and I sat down. A few minutes later, he walked back over, not nearly enough time. And when I looked down at the papers, he sure enough had put the first and second over the third and fourth page, just like I'd asked, collated. And then he'd stapled them on all four corners. So I had a stapled package of papers. And I was just incredulous at the time. I was just like, why would he, why would he do this? So anyway, being who I am and being worried about my class and so forth, I, I unstapled the stacks and I collated them and I stapled them on the corners so I could make my hand out because I was worried about doing the class. So it was sometime after that, the next week or so, that I found out that um, that after the next, the next day, it was a weekend day, and um, this gentleman had gone out and, and attempted suicide um, on one of the fields at High Point College. And he attempted, he did not succeed. And when I found out about that, I was like, it taught, it taught me a lesson right then and there, and that is to pay attention to the people around you. Um, just to close the story, and I need to say this, and that is he came back to school, and um, he got help and so forth, and he came back to the library, and he even chatted with me one day, and he actually apologized. He said he was really sorry about what had happened. I told him that I was really sorry, too, that I hadn't paid more, more attention to him. And I think we parted friends at that point. Years later, as I've looked back on that story, and I've thought, would I have done something different knowing what I know now? I don't know that I would have. Everyone gets so caught up in their day-to-day -day life that it makes it really, really hard for us to look at someone else and take the chance of saying, is there a problem? Is there something you need help with? Do you need to talk? I don't know if you've ever seen To Kill a Mockingbird, the movie, which is just a wonderful film if, if you haven't, but um, there's a part in there where Atticus Finch, Gregory Peck, is talking to Scout, his daughter, and says, you know, she's had a really, really bad day at school. And um, she's asking Atticus, why do people have to act the way they act? And, and Atticus says, well, you know, and, until you get into a person's shoes and walk around, you don't know what they experience and you don't know what they do or why they act the way they act. And it's really, really true. I'm Fletcher Armstrong. Thank you for watching.